Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One. Today's topic, frequency distribution. How to understand it and how to use it to help your trading. First, frequency distribution. Frequency distribution is the number of times an event occurs over a certain period of time. So for example, let's say there's an event where the outcome could either be blue, red, or green. So you're going to have a certain number of blues, you're going to have a certain number of reds, and you'll have a certain number of greens. So you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, what we want to do is we want to see how many times each one of those events occur. So, how many times do we have a green? In this case, one, two. How many times do we have a red? One, two, three. Sorry about that. We have a red event three times. How many times do we have a blue event? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is historical. These have, this has already occurred, so we're going to look at how many times this occurred. So you see we have 10. So 20% of the time you have a green, 30% of the time you have a red, and 50% of the time you have a blue. That's frequency distribution. So I've written a few frequency distribution indicators to analyze the price movement. I've done this for stocks and I've done this for the foreign exchange or forex. So for example, in stocks, I did the buy zone. And what the buy zone frequency distribution tells you is the distance from the open to the high and the open to the low of a candle. So I like to call it high op and op low. What I was analyzing was this distance here, oh we're having a good day today aren't we? That's what happens when you do these things live. So this is the high op. I guess I'll have to attach that to the wall. And from here to here is op low. What I noticed was for certain stocks was the frequency distribution showed me that these distances were 50 cents or more something like 80 percent of the time for certain stocks. So what that means is if you buy at or near the open there's a chance that you'll be able to make 50 cents or more. That's how the buy zone came into being. And where the buy zone said if for these certain stocks if it goes up 10 cents it's likely that it'll go up 50 cents or more 80 percent at a time. And that's why out on stockfetcher.com if you look at my filters there's a filter I call milk the cow or cow checker. I think that's what it's called. It's called the cow checker or MTC checker. And what you do is you say, I want to look at these stocks and see if any of them are cows. Do they have a frequency distribution where a high op or op low is 50 cents or more 80% of the time? Because that means you have a good chance of winning a trade if you buy at or near the open. 
So that is one way I use frequency distribution. The other way I use it is I analyze, once again, the price movement. Okay, so this would be a red candle. And that would be a green candle. So what I was looking at was, in the case of a red candle, was here's the low and here's the close. In the case of a green candle, here's the high, here's the close. This is where the rat reversal came in, and this is mainly used in the foreign exchange. What, I'm, what I look at are basically the lower wick and the upper wick. Some people call this the tail and the wick. And what I found out was, was that usually on a daily candle in the foreign exchange that this distance was more than 20, more than 20 pips. So what that told me was if the candle is making a new daily low and it starts to reverse, I want to enter between the low and the low plus 20 pips. And if I was trading the opposite way, this would be for green rats. For red rat, what I would want to do is from the high, enter here, or the high minus 20 pips. And that's for the red rats. Because if you get in here, is it, if this is where you enter and price is going down, Chances are it's going to be 20 or more based on the frequency distribution. And so if you have one of my frequency distributions indicators, that's what it's telling you. And so you can run that over a period of 10, 100, 1,000. And then you can see if the frequency distributions change. Usually you can do it, say, on a daily, you could do it for 500. That's a few years worth of data. Or you might want to do it for the last hundred days and then just look at it every day to see if these frequency counts are changing much. Because if you see these change a lot, then you know something in the market's changing. But they're usually pretty steady and that will tell you that, you know, this is why the rat zone works and this is why the buy zone works. So I hope that explains how to use the frequency distribution, how to understand it and apply it to your trading. And if you have any questions, you can send me a reply via YouTube. You can send me a reply via email. I've got a Gmail account, the rumpled one. Or you can go out to one of the forums where I post and ask your question there. So remember traders, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it.